Hey guys, this is Corey in Maryland, and I wanted to show you my version of the PVC sand scoop that I made uh, for sifting sand while metal detecting for coins on the beach. And this design was all based off of a video that Pat in Hawaii posted. He made a YouTube video of his sand scoop, so I basically took his design and kind of tweaked it a little bit. And I wanted to show you what I came up with. The main PVC part, it's a 4 inch piece of PVC coupling. It's 22 and a half degree bend and it's a female to female. And I got it at Home Depot, it was $4. Uh, the back mesh screen is half inch mesh that I got at Home Depot. It, it was a 5 foot roll for 8 bucks. And the hose clamp to hold that on was, uh, was $2, I think. It's a stainless steel hose clamp. The actual handle is made out of uh, an old pair of crutches. It's 30 inches long, so I had an old pair of aluminum crutches, and I just cut it off with a hacksaw at the top and down there at the bottom. And then I got it back to the workbench, and I used uh, just a regular pipe cutter. I used a pipe cutter just to cut the ends off, and uh, it's about 30 inches long. And the handle's held on to the scoop part with. Uh, a sleeve anchor. It's right here. It's a sleeve anchor. It's 5 8 inch, which is the inside diameter of the crutch um, handle. So that fit in there pretty good. A little tight. I had to bang it in with a hammer, but after I got it in there and I, and I tightened down on the nut, uh, I put a I put a washer on the outside and I put a washer on the inside, and then I crank down the nut. And once you do that, the sleeve anchor, uh, the sleeve part expands, so it expands inside inside the handle and it basically locks it in place. Also I put a, a bike grip on the end. This is a Schwinn ergonomic comfort grip. And I'm not sure if you can see it in the video but I actually left a little bit of a bend in the handle and that is just for kind of for ergonomics and uh, it really gives it a better feel when you when you actually like flip it over and you want to you want to shake the sand out. Having that little bend on the end really helps. It helps with the feel. Uh, as far as the the holes, they're all half-inch holes. Drill them out with a step bit. On the on the front row, there's there's eight. In the center section, there's 24, and in the back section, there's 12. And I I I got a I got a a washer. It was half inch, about a half inch right there, and I just put it up there and I and I started tracing it. And I traced it out with a pencil, and I just came up with this pattern that I liked. And after I had it, I just drilled it right out with the with the step bit, and uh, it really turned out pretty well. So I'm also thinking about taking that spare grip I have there, and I'm going to put it maybe up towards the front, you know, just to get some some grip when you're shaking out the sand. Um, The scoop part, the scoop part, I wanted to reduce a lot of the weight because it was really heavy initially, so I, I kind of cut it into a, a scooper style. And the way I did that was I found the center point here and I measured down this back side three inches, and then uh, I came out and I measured down this side four inches, and I basically connected the line so you can see it's got a little bit of an angle. And so I cut that out using a handheld jigsaw and then when I was done cutting it out I used a I used a round file like this typical woodworking round file and just put a nice edge on it and also uh, I filed down the front so it gets a little bit better bite in the sand so all the tools it's just your basic tools drill um, screwdriver to tighten that hose clamp I used the metal snips to cut the mesh screen Use a pipe cutter to, to cut the, uh, the handle and a round file. And I used a handheld jigsaw, but you, know, you can probably use a coping saw or anything, any, any other kind of saw, maybe a drywall saw. And it was really a, a fun project. I had a, I had a good time making it. Um, it's real sturdy. It's real strong. I feel like you could really take a good beating, and uh, it wouldn't fall apart. So. Uh, 
hope you like it. Go out and make yourself one. If you have any questions for me, leave me some comments. I'll be happy to answer your questions. And uh, good luck detecting.